WIS News Primetime. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for WIS News Primetime. I'm Hannah Burbank. Every weekday at 730, we'll be here to tell the untold stories of kindness, community, and hope across the Midlands. Tonight on Primetime, when facing an unfamiliar road ahead, support from others can help you find peace in the unknown. When Melanie Ray found out her daughter was going to be born with Down syndrome, she says the connection with other moms in similar situations provided her comfort and support along her journey. So she created a nonprofit organization. Now, six years later, she is a resource and voice of encouragement to those in similar situations. Most parents will do anything for their child. And that's the case for Melanie Ray and her six-year-old daughter, Victoria. Victoria um, means the world to me and just children in general. And I want to open doors for other children um, to have a place where they can meet friends and have, <laughs> and have fun. Victoria has a dual diagnosis of Down syndrome and autism. So Melanie wanted to create a safe haven where other children with special needs and their parents can have a community with those in similar walks of life. That's something that I feel like a lot of parents face, uh, not knowing anybody who has another child with special needs, or just wanting to talk to somebody. And I feel like that's very important because um, you're not alone and it's very healthy to have relationships with other um, families and children to build connections. Soon after Victoria was born in 2018, so too was Victoria's place. So it's named after my daughter, Victoria. She's a, she's a CEO. <laughs> Through Victoria's place, kids can socialize, make friends, and participate in five different program services, including art, music, sports, fine motor skills, and reading. Melanie says this organization helps children develop confidence and build their self-esteem, something she's seen firsthand with Victoria. It really has helped her um, kind of come out of her shell, meeting others, kind of gravitate toward new activities, finding out what she likes most. Melanie says they also hold an annual fashion show where the children are the models, and it means just as much to the parents as it does the kids. Parent told me, said that was her first time her special needs child actually was in a fashion show and that's all she wanted to see. And that brought a tear to my eye. Melanie says she wants all kids who are a part of Victoria's Place to feel loved and empowered. Children with disabilities matter. They should not be left behind. Um, they should be treated with dignity and respect. And that's what I want to show at Victoria's Place, that these kids matter, they mean something. And as their motto says, there is no hurry, no worry at Victoria's Place. Well, meeting Victoria and talking with Melanie, they were so amazing. And that place, Victoria's Place, has so many incredible organizations. They also have cheerleading. They're just really doing so much for other kids in the community. So it was really great getting to meet mm -hmm. them. And as it says, they can really do anything. Yes, absolutely.